What's going on everyone? Today is Wednesday, August 30th, and we are here to give you a midweek review. We're going to keep it short and sweet, as usual, but to just give you guys a little uh, catch up on what's been going on in the market. Obviously, this week is NFP week, um, so going into tomorrow and Friday, uh, please trade safe, trade responsible if you do choose to trade, um, and just know when the economic calendar is going to um, inject those uh, news events. But aside from me and Dollar, um, I know after I, we took this buy side liquidity, I went neutral. And we've kind of now dropped back under um, some of the variables that we were using as we were going higher. And so now, um, you know, two things at play. Obviously, buy side liquidity, if we choose to go higher, would be in and around uh, <clears throat> 104, 500, 104, 700, aiming for that 105 flat level. Uh, one thing to note of where we closed this week, um, there is a very small busy right here. So very, very small busy right there. And um, you can see if we were sensitive to it, obviously consequent encroachment. Didn't quite fill it, but overall did t uh, touch it. So if we are going to go higher, um, you know, I would like to see us potentially give it one more try in here this week leave some wick for the weekly and maybe it wants to take out this low and fully fill it or you know either way um, just one more attempt into here and then obviously you would want to see price you know same thing vice versa use price to go higher and you know find something there intact the relative equal highs if dollar does decide to go lower I'm now going to utilize this up close candle that I've been talking about as an order block we haven't quite closed below it yet um, but uh, when you drop down into at least a daily, you can see we start to re respect the mean threshold of the order block. Um, so if we do go lower, I would want to see price find its way under the low and open of this candle, which is the May 22nd, 2023 candle, um, and then have some form of uh, push into that and then, you know, a rejection as resistance to go lower. Um, in a couple areas where I would look to see price potentially go, obviously there is a busy right here. You have equilibrium of the range. Right here. And one thing I would just watch out for is uh, this down close candle right here could be used as a um, variable as an order block because obviously it was a down close candle. We just, we didn't really take any significant structure off of it yet at least. Um, but it's something I would potentially watch out for uh, as a bullish order block, um, at least on lower, uh, lower time frames. Um, so I'm still a little neutral. I still need a little bit of time to see what dollar wants to do. Um, I'm leaning towards price going a little bit lower on dollar. I think that there's some areas, whether it's equilibrium delivering into this order block or this busy. I think that for now we leave these highs, uh, but I could be wrong, right? I would need price at least another week's worth of direction and closure to really let me know how we want to manipulate this. Um, obviously price is pulling higher so depending on where we close if we do close back above this SIBI I'd be curious to know if we actually do go higher but I'm leaning towards if price does close at or below this SIBI by the end of the week I would like to expect to see lower prices um, but that's really all for me nothing really has changed too much still relatively neutral with the idea that price will probably go a little bit lower before potentially going higher um, but I could be wrong on that as well so uh, I'll pass it over to Henry. All right, here we go. I'm going to yes, start with the, we'll start with my things. Here we okay. So, so far in August, as we get to the end of the month, we've traded back down into just about consequent encroachment of this month's transition. 
and then show them nice layout there. On the weekly show here, on our Sunday fall, we were looking at potentially seeing lower prices, sell side down here and into this small busy here, which was not yet delivered. It was just, just shy of that. Um, but we didn't end up getting that at, toward the beginning of the week here. Uh, as I go down to the daily chart, I'll talk about the, which we talked about on Sunday, where that idea would kind of be invalidated. So now just looking at the weekly chart here, we're trading back up into this, this busy, which was previously uh, redelivered here and trade it back through and use it as a balance price range right here, trading away from it. So we're back into that area, tapping all the way up into the high today. And now what we have remaining on the weekly chart is this small city up here. So just going into the end of the week tomorrow, and then we'll see what happens with uh, what the NFT. Of course, don't get ahead of the news on, on NFT. Um, just looking for this area up here to be delivered. That small inefficiency there. As we go down to the daily chart, we talked about this bearish propulsion block right here. It's a separate order block. Propulsion block trading into that order block. You can see how it's sensitive in those areas here and right here on the body, trading lower. And this was the point in which we were negating the bearish number, right? And we got the close, really the mean threshold, and then the high of this propulsion block, which we got right here. So as soon as I saw that, that was confirmation for me today to start looking for higher prices and to see the pre which we got on Wednesday. All right. You can see earlier in the week now on Monday, we had inversion of the state and city and trading up. Tuesday, we're in this daily city right here. So a four hour time frame we can look into. And then trading back up into this proposal block, trading through it. And then it was actually right here. So now on the daily chart, we've got these relative equal highs resting here. So it's possible to utilize that. Um, but just looking for this price to trade up here. Go into a four hour quickly. And you can clearly see those relative equal highs resting here now. Starting up here. And for price to finish that um, high side delivery up into and above these relative equal highs. And then here you can see on Tuesday, for this move higher back up into the bearish propulsion block, we have the use of the mean threshold right here, this four hour order block up there. So we come into um, I believe it was, let's see, okay, right at the 8 a.m. hour, trading down into there, also inside of this one hour. This is, we have a reduced swing there, red right building, trading back above, shifting infrastructure, and then trading through these highs and back up with this area. So, just going to continue looking for, uh, for those higher prices going into that another week for this city up here. Okay. And that's it, Carson, anything to add? Thank you, Mew. Carson, you're muted. I am muted, sorry about that. <laughs> um, but uh, nothing really too much, uh, just a couple updates on some things. So I know that this week's assignment was a lot harder than obviously the first two, asking for one and a half percent by Wednesday a.m. session. And um, it's difficult. The reasoning why we wanted to do that or the reason um, behind it is because on NFP weeks, as you start to kind of learn this stuff, it's something that although it's OK, then you can trade past that. Um, the higher probability setups are going to form up until Wednesday a.m. session close. So wanted to see, obviously, what you guys did with your guys, with your hands tied a little bit there. Um, every week's going to be different, right? Every single week is going to be different. Some weeks are going to be harder. Some weeks are going to be easier. 
some weeks we're going to focus on things more than others. Um, so hopefully you were able to at least, uh, you know, get some action in the markets up until Wednesday. Don't forget to send in your, um, your assignments once they're there. Um, aside from that, call this weekend at 10 o'clock on Sunday. Um, I do not believe Henry will be joining us. He is taking vacation, so it will just be me and you. Uh, but aside from that, uh, we're still getting closer to the platform. Not going to say anything. It's coming. It's in the works. Uh, doing some finishing touches on some things. And uh, we are hoping that we can actually share something with you guys very shortly. Um, so with that being said, uh, trade safe the rest of the week if you choose to trade. Um, obviously, it, you will not be doing anything for the assignments for the rest of the week because Wednesday is now over. Um, but I will check in with you guys on Sunday. And uh, please keep sending in testimonials. We're, we're, we're loving it. We're loving it. So um, appreciate the, the love and feedback you guys have been able to give us over the past couple of weeks. Makes us want to work even harder. So other than that, I'm all good there. Henry, you got anything fi uh, final touches? Well, that's it for me. Thanks so much Al, for all the feedback you've given and um, for the testimonials we've shared. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. All right. See you soon, guys. Thank you.